Hello, Celine, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hornet Nation, your ticket to SHS Sports. I'm Nathan Stearns. And I'm Emily Stefano. We have a wide variety of topics for you today as we recap the Celine Bowling meme versus Ypsilanti and go inside the shoes of Danny Kapoor, Celine's All-State wrestler. All this and more in yet another compelling episode of Hornet Nation. Seniors Tanner Weedmeyer and Drake Jones are two of the boys' bowling team's leading contributors. They have led the Hornets to a 10-2 record. Allie Hyder recapped their quest for an 11th win as they and the girls' team duel the Ypsilanti Grizzlies in this Game of the Week. On Monday, January 29th, the Selene High School boys' and girls' bowling teams planked the Ypsilanti Grizzlies in a bowling duel. Both of the teams' dominating performances started early in the Baker games. The girls gained a 10-point lead, a stronger showing than what they usually do, as varsity members Maddie Shelton and Regan Cox told us. For weaknesses, I'd say definitely our Baker games. Yeah, and Baker games are basically the team game of the event, where you have to all work together. You each get two frames of the 10, and if you, one person messes up, it's basically he's screwed. The Hornets rolled over the Grizzlies in the individual round. Around where the boys' team really shines, as seniors Tanner Wiedemeyer and Tristan Marion stated. We're really good at our individual games. I think that as a team, we all bowl well during those, and we get high scores. Yeah, well, we work good together. Um, we help each other out. The girls' team finished with a season best, 28 to 2. The score proven that not only has their hard work paid off, but their lucky charms are effective. I always have to wear my scrunchie whenever I bowl. I always have to wear this hair tie on my right wrist and then my cross necklace. <laughs> The boys also devastated Ypsilanti with a final score of 30 to 0. While bowling may be a Friday night pastime for some, anyone can turn this social sport into varsity success. If you are even thinking about bowling, I'd try it. Yeah, just try it. Yeah. Go for it. We just say that you got to work hard at it. You know, this isn't really a sport that you can just pick up off the top of the hand and just expect to be a pro. So it just takes a lot of effort, a lot of practice. This is Allie Heider signing off for Hornet Nation. Back to you in the studio. Both the boys and girls team compete again tonight against Huron at 3.30. Toria Rochelle will be looking to improve on her score of 191 as the Hornets battle the River Rats. The 9-4 Celine boys basketball team dueled Pioneer on Friday, February 2nd in hopes of raising their in-conference record to 500. The Hornets were defeated in a 51-31 scoring affair. The Hornets struggled to muster anything offensively in the first half as they scored only 9 points before halftime. Senior Emmett Turner scored eight points and collected 14 boards for the visiting team. Selim will look to get back on the winning track as they travel to Monroe this Friday. The Selim Gymnastics team was back on the mat on January 31st as they dueled Jackson Lumen Christie High School. The Hornets set a season high in points, scoring a 136.475. Despite the efforts of senior Sarah Finkowitz's performance on the bars and Valentin Urea's performance on the beam, the Hornets missed victory by only six-tenths of a point. The Hornets are back in action as they face off tonight against Milford High School at 6.30. Celine senior Danny Papour is the second-ranked wrestler in the state of Michigan, but our own Nathan Stearns <laughs> tried to dethrone the All-State champion in this week's In Their Shoes. Hey, Celine. It's Nathan Stearns from Hornet Nation, and the only thing I've ever managed to successfully wrestle is a 20-piece chicken McNugget from McDonald's, but I'm with Celine star wrestler Danny Papour. Danny, thank you for being with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. And you are second overall in the state, correct? Yeah, I just broke the most wins in Celine wrestling history with 168 wins. And are you getting any interest from colleges at all to wrestle? Yeah, yeah, I have quite a few colleges looking at me, still undecided where I want to go yet. Now, in the second part of this In Their Shoe segment, Danny is about to show me some of the wrestling moves that have made him so successful at the high school level. Danny, you ready to rock and roll? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What's the first move you'd like to show us today? I'm going to show you guys a fireman's carry. 
And how exactly is that performed? So you'll put your hands on the inside of his arms and then you'll lower your level, uh, grab one of his legs and throw him over your shoulders. In the spirit of the Injured Their Shoe segment, I'm about to wrestler, or wrestle, excuse me, the second ranked wrestler in the entire state of Michigan. So I think I've lived a good life. I don't think 18 years is too bad. So uh, let's go. Joe, is that good? <laughs> oh man. Oh, well, you guys can see I am not a wrestler. The only thing I manage to wrestle are large amounts of food. But I have just been in the shoes with Danny Papor. Signing off for Hornet Nation, I'm Nathan Stearns. Oh my god. It was a valiant effort, Stearns. <laughs> Well, I tried. With Danny's help, the wrestling team has gone undefeated in the SEC Red, including a win over rival Bedford, a team the Hornets have never defeated during a dual meet in the program's history. They will be looking to add another win to their season record when they duel Pioneer tonight at 5.30. That's all for this show. We will be back in two weeks when we profile the Celine's Ultimate Frisbee League, recap the girls' basketball game versus Pioneer, and hype you up for the indoor track season. I'm Nathan Stearns. And I'm Emily Stefano. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Nation Hornet. And if you have a story that you would like us to air, feel free to stop by the studio, room C244. See you in two weeks, Hornets.